happening right now. A small group of voting rights advocates are reenacting the historic 1965 march from Selma, Alabama to the state capitol in Montgomery. All weekend I've been reporting from Selma. This evening photojournalist Justin Crate has pulled together some of the images and local people we met who had a special message for those original foot soldiers. It's good to be here 50 years later, to be here in Selma. If you were to see John Lewis today, would you be thankful? Yes. Yeah. Would you shake his hand yeah. and tell him thank you for all that he did for us? Does it make you feel good to be here? Yeah. Well, I thought it was very important to celebrate this 50th celebration of the Bloody Sunday. See, that's it. Edmund Pettus Bridge, right and there. So I wanted to make sure our kids had an opportunity. It's a great experience. You can hear them. Running. When they said troopers advance, troopers here advance. They came at us with the clubs. Right about the same time, they hit hit us with the tear gas. There are times in turn history when there's a turning point and you create a new world. On ain't gonna let no tear gas. And that's what we did right here on the bridge. Keep on a talking, marching up to freedom land. But I'm so thankful to them because without them, we wouldn't be able to vote. We can look back, but we are moving forward. Tell young people today that never give up and never give in, but to keep the faith and keep pushing and keep pulling. Powerful images there. Yeah, incredible time. The National Park Service said about 100,000 people were there throughout the four-day event. Each year they have a reenactment, but police told me they don't expect it to ever be that large again. And I mean, every live shot we took of yours, it was just a sea of people. It Beautiful was incredible. Scene. It was really something to see. All right, thanks, Dave. Uh,